This first panel you're looking at is all of Unit 2's chemistry that we monitor. These are all pHs at different points inside the boiler feed and condensate system. Here at JTEC Lab, we take raw water, convert it into pure water, and then use it in the boilers to eventually make steam and turn that into electricity to go into your homes. Every day that we're here, one of us will take care of the inside stuff, the other one will go outside and take care of the coolant towers. That is just checking on the instrumentation that's out there, making sure it's giving us true results. And then if there's an issue, we have to investigate and fix it. That outside person, that can be anywhere from a two-hour job to a four-hour job, depending on what he combats. Now, we have instruments out in the lab that monitor these parameters 24-7. Monday through Friday when we're here, I come in and I do grab samples, making sure those meters are giving me true results. If anything goes awry, an alarm goes off in the control room and the shift supervisor will send people to investigate. Hopefully it's just a flow issue. If it's more than that, Mike will get a phone call and I'll get a phone call and we'll come in and investigate further. The biggest thing is we are, you might say, corrosion control experts. We're having a controlled corrosion inside the boiler. We want to have a protective oxide layer form inside the boiler or inside the feed water tubes to protect them from further corrosion down the road. If you were to boil a pan of water at home, you would have that white chemical deposit that's called scale. And what that primarily is is calcium magnesium that was in the water that you drove the water away and those have stayed behind. If we did that to these boilers, the pipes would get smaller and smaller and you'd have a hydraulic effect and eventually those pipes would close off and you couldn't pump water through them anymore. Not to mention you couldn't pass heat from the outside of the tube inside the tube to the water to make steam. So we add these phosphate ions to, in the event we do have a leak and we have calcium magnesium coming into the boiler, they'll react with that phosphate ion and they'll make like what they call a soft sludge that we can blow out of the boiler and not have a scale issue. All of these are cation conductivity columns they give us an indication of how pure the water is inside the feed and condensator boiler. The raw water, it comes out of the ground. If you were to boil it dry, you'd have the white residue chemicals left afterwards. We send it through this demineralizer, deionizer, which converts all those chemicals, takes them out of the water. And when it leaves the leg, it is virtually pure water. It is H2O. So if I was to boil that water again after the leg, there would be nothing left. 